Uh, to see the problem, uh, consider the case of, of a natural gas a pipeline uh, that is going to be run uh, from the wells of the natural gas company to uh, the electric uh, power company. We can consider the, the fact that the pipeline company uh, has to incur an upfront investment in the pipeline uh, of a billion uh, dollars, just for round numbers. Now, once uh, the pipeline uh, is installed, it is literally and figuratively a, a sunk uh, cost. It's sunk in the ground, and it's also an expenditure uh, that cannot be recovered, uh, primarily because it is very specific from point A uh, to point B and may have no alternative uh, use, which means it may have no alternative recovery uh, cost. We can imagine that in order to repay the uh, the principal and to cover the uh, the interest cost that the firm can figure that its annualized cost of the pipeline over some given number of years and with some assumed interest rate is a is a hundred million dollars a year. We can assume that the operating cost of the pipeline is going to be twenty five million dollars a year, which means the total annual cost of uh, putting in the pipeline is $125 million. Now, before the pipeline is actually uh, installed, uh, the firm would be willing to install the pipeline so long as it could expect uh, to receive uh, more than $125 million uh, each year. Well, if in fact the power plant can anticipate $150 million uh, savings in terms of reduced cost of producing electricity, then there's obviously a, a mutually beneficial uh, trade uh, to be made. Let's suppose that the, that the pipeline company and the uh, power plant decide to split the difference and they agree uh, that the uh, power plant will pay the pipeline company $137 million a year. Well, that means that the uh, pipeline company can expect a profit of $125 million a year. The risk, however, that the pipeline company uh, incurs is that the uh, power company might in the future uh, renege on, on its contract uh, and, and renege in a very serious way. Because once the pipeline is installed, the power company, I mean, I'm sorry, the pipeline company should continue to deliver uh, natural gas so long as the power company offers something more than uh, $25 million. Uh, this is because this, the $100 million in annualized cost is literally sunk cost. It's costs that cannot be recovered. The only thing that cannot be incurred is uh, the operating uh, cost. So it's quite possible that the power company uh, would say to the pipeline company at some point, uh, either give me uh, my power at $120 million a year or I will, uh, I will terminate uh, the contract. Now the pipeline company can, uh, may have some assurance uh, that the power company won't do that because the power company does, in fact, uh, need um, uh, natural gas. But let's suppose the price of coal goes down, uh, in which case the power company uh, could be in a uh, better uh, bargaining position. Now, it might be thought uh, that uh, uh, this problem could be solved uh, by contracts. Uh, that is, the pipeline company engages in a long-term contract with the power company uh, to get $137 million dollars. $37.5 million a year. Uh, the problem, however, is that contracts are, are, are difficult to establish and cover all contingencies, and it's, it's possible that they can be broken. And it is, the, it, it is in the imperfection of long-term contracts uh, that it might make sense for the power company to actually uh, produce its own gas uh, pipeline. Why? Uh, because the prospects of holdup can mean that the risk cost that the 
gas pipeline incurs is so great uh, that they would demand more than $150 million uh, from the power company in order to supply, uh, to, to invest in the power company. Now, I should say that this, this risk of, of holdup uh, extends uh, beyond just pipelines and, and, and power plants. Uh, it tends to explain uh, why uh, 100 years ago in remote areas of the country, uh, mining companies often owned uh, house, the houses and the stores. Uh, the, the general historical view of mining towns has been that you have the big bad monopoly uh, mining company uh, owning everything and then extracting the blood of the workers uh, who moved there. Well, why does the, or why did the mining company own the houses? Well, it has something to do uh, with this holdup problem. Uh, potential miners would be very reluctant to move to a remote area of the country where there is only one em employer. And, they, and uh, the miners would be reluctant to invest in houses, which when they invest in the house, uh, they are subject to uh, exploitation uh, afterwards. And it also explains why uh, merchants uh, don't go to these remote didn't go to these remote areas and build their own uh, stores. Why? Because they would be afraid that once uh, uh, they invested in those assets that were specific to the operation of the mining company. Mm -hmm.